Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manohar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to manually merge Hyper-V checkpoints. Checkpoint is a feature in Hyper-V that allows you to capture the state of a virtual machine at a specific point in time. This feature is handy when you want to revert to a previous state or create backups of your virtual machines. As you know, Hyper-V VMs are stored in the virtual hard disk which are of the VHDX file format. At the same time, checkpoint files created on those Hyper-V VMs are stored in the .avhdx file format and they are kept in the same folder as a hard disk image file. Hyper-V checkpoints are basically differencing virtual disk and each of them has a parent-child relationship with the corresponding parent to virtual hard disk. You can create up to 50 snapshots for each VM. All Hyper-V snapshots are organized in a hierarchical order thus creating a checkpoint subtree. In our previous video, we covered how to delete or merge Hyper-V checkpoints. However, today's video will serve as a guide to manually merging Hyper-V checkpoints. Please note that if you are running into issues with a VM checkpoint, do not immediately attempt to manually merge the AVHDX files. A manual merge should be considered as the last option when attempting to fix the checkpoints. The safest and easiest way to merge your checkpoints is to create a new checkpoint, if possible, and then delete it. This will allow Hyper-V to clean up and manage your checkpoints automatically. There may be cases where you need to manually merge of your Hyper-V checkpoints in the case of corruption or failure with merging your checkpoints via the normal means. Always back up your files before making any merges or changes. I also recommend manually copying your VM files and making the merge changes on the copies to verify that it will work. Sometimes performing a merge can cause additional issues, so having a copy to revert to is essential. Before we start to describe how to merge Hyper-V checkpoint, we should first determine which checkpoints will be merged. Hyper-V checkpoints should be merged in a specific order from child to parent. Therefore, it is important to establish the structure of the checkpoint tree by establishing the order of their creation from the newest to the oldest ones. Let's look at how you perform a manual merge a Hyper-V checkpoints into the parent disk. Click on Win11-VM01 virtual machine. As you can see, we have a VM with the two existing checkpoints. Right click on the virtual machine and select settings. Click on hard drive. The selected disk is the current checkpoint AVHDX file. Click on inspect. Copy the file name. This is our second checkpoint AVHDX file. Open notepad and paste the copied file name into it. Let's minimize it. Click on inspect parent. Copy the file name again and paste it into the notepad file. Again click on inspect parent. Copy the file name and paste it into the notepad file. This is our parent VHDX file. So this is our Hyper-V checkpoint order. Let's minimize the notepad file. Close all open VHD properties window. Copy the VHDX file location. Click OK to close the VM properties window. Open file explorer, paste the copied location in the address bar and press enter to access it. Once you have identified the checkpoint structure with the AVHDX file names, you can begin the manual merge process. We are not going to directly manually merge these VHDX files. Instead, we will create a copy of the virtual disk files and merge them into a single VHDX file while keeping the original VM intact. This example will be useful when you find yourself in a situation where you need to merge AVHDX files into VHDX files either due to an error or because you are transferring virtual machines from another system. Or you may be in a situation where you need to merge AVHDX files because you have to recreate the virtual machine using just the hard drive. Let's copy the virtual disk files linked to the Win11-VM01 virtual machine. Click on this PC, go to the D drive and access the VHDS folder. Create a new folder and name it win11-vm01-merged. Open the folder and paste the copied virtual disk files into it. Let's wait for the copying process to complete. By looking at the date modified timestamp, you can also determine the parent-child virtual hard disk relationship. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. 
Under Actions menu, click on Edit Disk. Click Next. Click Browse to select the latest AVHDX file. Click on this PC, then go to the D drive. Open the VHDS folder and access the Win11 VM01 merged folder. Go back to the Notepad file to view the name of the latest AVHDX file. This is the one. Select the latest AVHDX file and click on Open. Click Next. Select Merge to merge the changes stored in the differencing disk into the parent or another disk. Click Next to continue. We are merging the changes from the differencing disk back into the parent virtual hard disk. However, you can also merge it into a completely new virtual hard disk. Click Next. On the last screen, click Finish to begin the merge operation. Go back to File Explorer. Since one file has been merged with the parent AVHDX file, you can now see that we have only two virtual disk files. To fully complete the process of merging Hyper-V checkpoints, repeat the steps for each AVHDX file until all the changes have been merged into the original parent disk. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Again click on Edit Disk. Click Next. Click Browse. Click on this PC, then go to the D drive. Open the VHDS folder and access the Win11 VM01 Merge folder. Select the latest and only AVHDX file and then click Open. Click Next. Select Merge and click Next. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to begin the merge operation. The merge operation has started and may take a few seconds, especially on large VM disk. The AVHDX file is successfully merged back into the parent disk. Go back to File Explorer. As you can see, after the merge operation, there is no longer an AVHDX file, only the VHDX file remains. To use the newly merged file, create a new virtual machine and point it to the manually merged VHDX file. If you keep it on the original VM, you will encounter an error related to the checkpoint chain. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right click on the Hyper-V host, select New, then click on Virtual Machine. Click Next. Specify the name and location for the virtual machine. Click Next three times. Click on the drop down menu, select internal virtual switch and then click Next. Select Use an existing virtual hard disk option. Click on Browse and select the VHDX file that has been merged. Click on this PC then go to the D drive. Open the VHDS folder and access the Win11 VM01 merged folder. Select the Win11-VM01 VHDX and click Open. Click Next, then click Finish to create a new virtual machine with the manually merged VHDX file. Power on the virtual machine and you will have the access to the merged VHDX data. Wait for a few seconds to allow the VM to boot up properly. After merging the AVHDX file into the VHDX, the new Hyper-V virtual machine is powered on and running without any issues. Keep in mind that merging Hyper-V checkpoints does not fix issues if the checkpoints are corrupted. That's all for this video on how to manually merge Hyper-V checkpoints. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.